This is the WL Toys 10428. And I don't think at the end of the day, that's not supposed to happen. So what we're doing today is we are going to actually uh, put a new rear drive shaft in it because that is what we broke. New rear drive shaft shredded when my son was trying to do some jumps with it. And so we are going to put in some new drive shafts and uh, get that up and running. We couldn't get the factory WL Toys parts, so instead we got the Videra parts and we're going to try to make them work. Okay, so what I'm noticing here is this side of the drive shaft is what broke off. That was gone. This actually, the other side in here is actually in perfect condition, which I'm very lucky with because otherwise I'd need to take everything off to get to it to get it off. So this Vitera piece, VTR232021, had both of these shafts in it. And as it turns out, the Vitera shaft goes straight in, straight into the WL Toy shaft on the other side. So that is great. I thought that's all I really needed, but as it turns out in here, you can see that what actually broke is the pivot cup inside. All right, and so I'm very glad that I went ahead and purchased VTR232013, which is these diff cup and hardware set. So what we're gonna take this out, we're gonna get that assembled, and I'm gonna see if this Vitera shaft uh, this uh, cup will actually go on here or not. If it doesn't, then we're going to have to see if we can make this side work. Alright, so confirmed the Vitera end in here is actually too small. This, this cup will not go on that shaft, so we are going to have to reuse this one, which means we have to figure out how to get all this out of it. comes is will this go in there and it sure looks like it will so it looks like the Vitera piece will go into the uh, the WL Toys piece one thing we have to do with this this goes in here Ooh, somehow get it lined up right but it's go all the way in but then it needs a screw to go into it all right, there's absolutely zero instructions with this in the kit, but I'm assuming if you looked in your Vitera Twin Hammers manual, it would show. Uh, this piece, you will see, actually has cross pin hole in it here. So as you put that through there, you will have the hole that goes through. This whole thing then lines up into here. And this pin, if I can pick it up with my fingers, this pin goes into here, it goes across, and all the way through. You see that? And that is how that junction is made. You will then see right here is an open spot where it looks like one of these uh, set screws will go in there and help hold that pin steel, which is very, very nice. That's actually a nice upgrade versus the, it does not look like the WL Toys version of it had that at all. It is a solid piece. This is actually how the MIP shafts are held together, and that is a much stronger joint at the end of the day. But this is a piece that needs some um, Loctite on it. I have this Loctite in this cap from a different project. So we are going to run this in here, assuming it's the right screw, because we have a couple here. basically locked in there however it still provides you with the spring retainer to go over it also so that's awesome might as well use both so look at that we have a new joint after the new joint then you need to put this piece on which is see it is splined on the inside you got to get it to match up just right go together So then that's together, and then it provides these big long screws. Now you are actually screwing through the plastic into the metal. So again, we're gonna want Loctite on that. And then 
line goes all the way through this whole thing. Now I don't know if this is all going to go together if it collapses enough. Go in the hole. This went in there just a second ago. There we go. So that goes in. We get it curved just enough. Looks like it'll probably go. Come on. Go on there. Trying to avoid having to take the rear axle out. There we go. So I made sure that lined up with the flats. We are again going to lock tight these in. With that one finished WL Toys upgraded or fixed at minimum with some WL of uh, some Viterra Twin Hammers parts, ready to go back out on the trail. So thank you guys for watching this. I hope this was useful for you. Uh, if you're still interested in more stuff, please come over here to the right and check out some more videos. And we will see you guys next time. If you have any questions or anything, let us know down below.